Listen to Who's Mike is This? Mondays at 10 a.m. Eastern Time on Culture Shock Radio, Cuzzo FM, Wattar Music, and the Tattoo Shock Radio. Remember, it still takes a village. We are Village Global Network. Well, we've sure got big ass problems. Yup. Can you believe these big ass prices? Doesn't bother me. I got a big ass secret. What's your big ass secret? Every time I fill up, I add this little gas pill and I get big ass savings. You get big ass savings just from using that little pill. Even with that big ass truck? Even with that big ass truck. And when I help other people get big ass savings, I make big ass money. So you get big ass money helping people get big ass savings with that little gas pill. Mm. You got a big ass tank? Honey, do I have a big ass tank? Oh, yep, you do. You definitely have a big ass tank. Yeah, I do. Look, this is what I got paid last week. Wow, that That is big ass money. (laughs) We're planning a vacation with our big ass savings and that big ass money. (laughs) We could use some big ass savings. And some big ass money. That's guaranteed money A lot of smiles and grins But I don't see nothing funny Had to cut them clowns sharp No, I don't play dummy Setting up the table Cause I know the meal is coming I don't fuck with who you fuck with I don't see the point If I'm smoking big blunts Why you rolling joints? Never legal with the promo The people choice Chef for Bowling Green and Collinsville I'm stamped Ready to count Why you hating on me? Cause it's slated for me Get to get up off your ass, you might get it, my G. Stop supporting them lanes, put most high in the game. Stop that capping type shit and stop passing the blame. I can't fuck with no haters, I done did that way back. Heart open, no jack, but homie became straight rag. That's facts, so I move accordingly. Stay cornball free, man, you can't get close to me. Hell no, you don't see me, ain't no money where you be Open girl, you know I'm like- 
Classy girl, look magic, girl, look bend it over. Blasty girl, Miss Carmen, let me feed you. You got that thirst and I got that juice juice. Let's play house, I be the mommy. Perfect clock, that Kawasaki. You ain't lie when you say you got me. I feel you strong when you push behind me. Yeah, if you wanted a boss, get you a guy, create a juice. Show it, take to the side, slide him a taste and watch him get loose. Watch him get loose. Me only me nine, nah, they go you and I, they been for two. They get on the star. of whose mic is this and you know i gotta ask whose mic is this ready lay down the truth mike yeah. <laughs> y'all already know how it goes down i gotta say it's a treat to have ray lay down the truth in the building um she's she is definitely one like the top i'm gonna say you my number one spoken word artist so I can be honest. And you know this, <laughs> man. <laughs> and I appreciate yeah. that opportunity. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah. Um, you turn up. You know what I'm saying? You one of the um, to me one of the top and one of the best. You and Tony together as people choice or one of the top promoters here, um, for poetry and comedy. Well. Yeah. mixture of comedy and um, also the underground yeah. but more catered to poetry yeah. you know what I'm saying and I uh, commend you for that because yeah. I saw you guys grow so with that being said man this is a, a is a very very um, anticipated interview uh, this is also March, which is Women's Month. Yeah. So shout out to all the queens. Shout yes. out to all the queens. <laughs> the pleasure to honor y'all in this uh, interview for for all month. Um, as we, we be slept on sometimes out here, you know, but the real ones appreciate queens. So oh, shout out to the kings that appreciate us. You hear me? Yeah. Talk to them. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So with that being said, man, first off, happy 2024. Yeah. Mamba mentality. I'm Period. claiming all the success this year. Yeah. And um, I'm going to start off with asking you how you're feeling with the new addition to the family. <laughs> <laughs> I, you know, um, after look, you know, after everything in life, really, I'm not even going to say last year. And, um, you know, some of you, you know, know I lost the, uh, I had a miscarriage last year. So, um, but just life in general is just so crazy. And I appreciate each moment of it because honestly, like, it's, it's so crazy. It's so crazy. Life be so crazy. But I'm, I'm honestly so blessed. Um, I'm grateful. I'm excited. You know, um. Yeah. Some of the best things, some of the best art I feel I've ever made. Okay. You know what I mean? Co-created by my man, you know? <laughs> yeah. That's what I'm about. So, <laughs> so, I've been so wrapped up in, in, in your poetry when I listen to you perform, when I can, when I ain't fucking working and people doing that. Well, I be working, so. Yeah, you be working, <laughs> man. You do. Yeah, shout out uh, to Tweezy the Dime, man, for uh, real. So did you say a new poem um, at the at the No Let Up? 
Yeah, the murder she wrote. Yeah, the, yeah, the murder she wrote. A uh, showcase. So, um, like, are you talking about the the I used to suck, but now I blow? That piece. I you said, I heard, You've heard that one I before. Heard before. That okay. Before. So was it the flex and frequencies? I think. So. Or because so Which you know I lotus flower. That. Look what I've grown through. That's a I signature that piece for yeah. sure. So um, and then I did the um. Hang on, what other one? Oh, I did the conform. You've never heard that one before. Okay. So the 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 conf yeah yeah the conform. yeah the conform okay. conform conform. But you can't put me in no box. Yeah. Yes, yeah. So I didn't, cause I show I, like I, you know, I do know some of them. Yeah, I got some in my. Yeah, I got I got quite a few in my pocket. Them. I forget about them sometimes. That's how many I got in my pocket. Yeah. <laughs> I forget that. about them. I want to let you know that right now. I appreciate that, now. man. That was amazing. That I didn't shit expect that. Was man, that shit was hard, boy. Yeah. Hey, hey, I'm gonna tell you this. I didn't know y'all was feeling it like that. That was amazing, though. Look, yeah. This is what I'm going to say. I done threw a lot of shows. Yeah. And I done been to a lot of shows. Yeah. I've never seen the first act kill it so hard that they won it. I never saw that. I've, ne I've never in my life saw that before. Right. right. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Yeah. Hey. And it was, and my thing was, it was that good because everybody was tuned in. Everybody, you hear me? Because I know her normal. Um, I know her norm. The normal thing yeah. with poets is shut up. When, especially if they it's 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 on it's it's a uh, uh, rapping and all that and yeah. music being played. The the thing is keeping people quiet enough. See, they was talking doing the rap shit. They were right. they were doing more talking through that. Yeah, killed it, yeah. killed it. So that, yeah. so all I'm saying is I, I just wanted to give your props on that because that was amazing. Yeah. That was amazing. Sometimes us artists, you know what I'm saying, it be. We be in our, <clears throat> and we be in it. You know what I'm saying? And sometimes yeah. you're not, and it, and it does reflect in your performance. Yeah. You know, like when you're not in it. Um, but yeah, it felt good to be in it, and then to then it get acknowledged for it in such a way. I was like, hell yeah, yeah. I, got, I got some money, I got an award, <laughs> I get a video and shit. Like what? Hey, they was Bubba kept rock going yeah. back to me. They like. Uh, Cause they was asking, they was like, "Is Rayleigh in it?" I'm like, "Yeah, everybody who performed in it, you know what I'm saying." And they went back. And this is this. That's why I kept telling them, cause I was surprised. Yeah, I wasn't surprised because of what you did. Right. I was surprised because you went first. A lot of I just I'm just saying. Sometimes that first act get forgotten. Yeah, especially fact. with a whole bunch of other acts. and and a completely like different genre for yeah. real, for real. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I'm like, man, the most high is shit. Yeah, <laughs> and it is <laughs> like, for ooh. sure that. Yeah. So yeah. All right, all right. Um, can we talk about so how the siblings taking Jaleesa? She they ready? <laughs> So the little one, the four year old, oh my God, she cannot stand it. She's so excited, you know. <laughs> <laughs> she cannot wait to be the big sister, okay, you know. Okay. Um the other two, I think they would be more excited if it was a boy, but they like another girl. <laughs> right, right. Five girls, what the heck? Like we can't get one boy. I'm like, man, y'all got a nephew, like chill right, out. <laughs> right. Chill out. <laughs> right. Now I gotta go for another one. No, man, look. <laughs> It's so crazy because, like, how they have it out here for us women. Like, y'all don't want to get you too tired because, like, that'll mess you up. Like, you know, shout out to anybody that went through it and it didn't mess them up. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying to do it to everybody. But, like, there's, like, serious side effects that, that can come from that. And then, like, <clears throat> birth control, too. Like, how it affects so many women differently and, and, and in a negative way. You know what I'm saying? Not so much as a positive way. Um but negatively affects them, you know? So it's like, when, when, when you with your, your spouse, you know, we've been together 15 years, it's like, you know, four, four ain't too bad, you know? Four ain't too bad. 
Well, I'm gonna speak. My, I got my king over there, and I'm just gonna say this, and this for me to you, because I just heard what the queen said, and I was scared to do this at first, but I'm very happy right now, and it's not what people think. Get your chest in there, bro. Uh -oh. That um, it, it's I'm I'm looking at you right. You, do that. Because it, it, it's my best I was friend has as a mom, but yeah. let, me, let me just speak on yes, it because I know I, that's why I stopped talking to black dudes about it. Right. My uncle, like, I tell him what I did, he can't believe it. Oh man, you like, dude, it's, it's still the same. I was jacking off like two days later. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> what speak you talking about? It. It's just about, yeah. you know, how men are. You be so scary. I was scared. Don't get me wrong, though. <laughs> Them motherfuckers was riding down that bitch. I was like, I was almost finna uh, change my mind. Yeah. You know what I'm mean? saying? I'm like, all right. And it was, it wasn't shit. It wasn't nothing, bro. So that's a that's an option. I sure hope so. <laughs> <laughs> and it's all good. Don't nothing. It don't stop shit except for them getting pregnant. Yeah. See, and it has a whole bunch of bad adverse effects for women when they. Get that, and they gotta go under anesthesia, and like it's yeah, a whole Andrew, surgery. Yeah, yeah. Like it's a whole surgery. Like they put you under. Like, yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it's all gravy, man. All yeah. right, all right, all right, man. We be talking about some shit. <laughs> all right. So since the last time I talked to you, man, it's been a few trends that went by. I'm gonna ask you about, and I you know I gotta talk to you about the Cat Williams. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I yeah, know it's been a little while, but yeah. let's talk about that. Okay. What, what you, what's your take on it? Honestly, like, I thought he was um, real solid, and um, he was choosing his words wisely. Mm. Um, I think that he exposed a lot, and I think he was telling the truth. Flat Damn. out. Yeah. All day. Yeah. I'm rocking yeah. with what a lot, what he was talking about, because he's... Exposing the spiritual warfare that that Talk we yeah that <clears throat> that they'll use us as artists like as a tool for mm -hmm. you know and if you're too ignorant to understand yes then you're the best tool yeah. <laughs> you're the best tool for the devil yeah. and then it's too late you know what I'm saying by the time you realize what it is you deep and they got you because they don't play fair you know what I mean you want to be like oh they ain't got me on that no no they don't have to have nothing on you. Because it's not about, they make it up. Like, right. don't you see? Just you know? Up. Yeah, like they was talking about how they did Cat Williams, you know? By the time you hit Philadelphia or wherever the hell he was going, he was like, you'll be a drug addict going crazy. Like, you know? Mm -hmm. And and they said that shit. And that shit went for a minute. People was like, what the fuck wrong with Cat Williams? You know, this boy done lost his mind. They arrested him and da 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 da, -da. Right. You got to see the bigger picture of shit, you know? So, the, the way bigger picture. Yeah, because it's a much bigger picture than what you're being presented with. I mean, and, and my thing, you hit the question I was going to ask you about that. That's crazy. Well, I guess it ain't crazy. We be in tune. Mm -hmm. That uh, spiritual battle. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We we fighting that amongst ourselves. Like, now, that's why I kept, I'm like, I thought I was going to be going through something like what we be experiencing now. Right. Like, once we got money. No. <laughs> you ready. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Swear. <laughs> yeah, like, I feel no, that. No, it's now. Yeah. Like, it's now. Yeah. It's like, I see now how, why it's like that up there. To it prepare gotta you. It got to be crazy up there. You hear me. You hear me. <laughs> yeah. So. Yeah. Man, so so all I'm saying is, so oh, that's, that's the question. So you believe it's a spiritual battle? I do too. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Um, who you think winning? Oh well, well right now I don't mm -hmm. think I think we still got a strong team of soldiers working for the right side right. that that is gonna prevail. Like Man, it's already written. It. Like it's <laughs> they're you know what I'm saying? Like it they're they're not gonna last for much longer. They're grabbing at anything and everything with any certain high frequency. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't think because you're at this certain frequency and you elevate and stuff, it's not gone. That's when it really comes, because they're like, ooh, okay, that's what you're trying to do? Right. Well, let's see. Let's see, you know? And temptation. 
that's the number one feat in life you know yeah. self-discipline within temptation because everybody's temptation is going to be different you know everybody's going to be uh, attracted and appealed to something else you know to whatever it is everybody's got their own little vice out here you know and everybody i don't care who you are okay. you got some sort of vice whether healthy unhealthy whatever whatever it is yeah <laughs> and that's what i'm saying if you're not clinging to something higher than you you're gonna get brought down you know you're gonna get brought down and if you don't if you don't ask for discernment you know um you will be misled okay. yeah <laughs> serious for real and people think it's not that spe- serious but it is like i made a uh somebody who somebody made a quote about um all content has intent and that hit me so hard because i'm like you're absolutely right like people think it's not important about the paint the the whole picture that they're painting or you know looking like this for just a minute and stuff but the internet is forever like it's not just a minute you you played that role or you sold your morals for a paycheck (laughs) that moment is going to reflect even if it was a small one you got to know that it was a fucking mistake and correct it otherwise you're just going to keep playing feeding the beast yeah real talk right there She's speaking facts, y'all better motherfucking listen up. Uh, she said all black with the STL gear. Girl, stand up. Oh, yeah. Hey. Oh, yeah. And I, I just got to You all say this. that? People be people and weird as fuck? Man. <laughs> and and uh, 314. So St. Louis. <laughs> yeah, we, we going to turn the fuck up. We, yeah. We finna, we finna tear that motherfucker Yeah, up. we going to turn the fuck <laughs> up for sure. Yeah, really? yeah. Devil been busy in the city, but guess what? Like we was just talking about in the end, you know, that was the thing about the the 314. This is the thing. Like, we got four entities coming together with this. Ooh, four different promoters throughout the city that, that promote St. Louis artists thoroughly, like, to the best of their ability type shit, like, out of real love for their city, you know? Okay. There it is. We got There It Is. We got Soldier by Blood. Uh, never legal uh, promotions and then uh, people's choice you know four different entities coming together to showcase St. Louis so this right. motherfucker finna be turned up like and, and did you did, did you uh, did you hear that <laughs> you heard me <laughs> I'm just four St. Louis promoters yeah or you wanna say four promoters that promote local artists and more yeah not just local artists right Facts. <laughs> right. Right. So we're showing what people be claiming. Like, I ain't never heard them many promoters doing. Not, I haven't. Not doing a local show. Right. You would think the city would turn the fuck up for us. Like, yeah, I'm, just at, I'm just saying. Yeah. We doing you think? what we say we do. Yeah. We're going to do it regardless, though. Yeah. Regardless of what they're doing. Because our intent ain't for that. Like, we, we hope that you're on board, but. Hey, we this ship is sailing. Oh, it's no sailing. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's sailing. Like you jump ship or whatever the fuck at this point, but it's it's in route. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> and it's going to continue to be in route. Yeah, because the Most High declared that. Woo. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. All right. Before we, I'm, I'm gonna get to some more of the of the industry stuff and what you're doing on, in, on the other side of the break, I wanted to get into a little bit about. Uh, well, I wanted to ask you a little bit about the Palestine crisis. Mm. Yeah. And, and what's your concern? Very concerning, man. We're watching genocide before our eyes, man. And um, it seems like a lot of people don't even simply know what the hell's going on and what it's about, you know? Yeah. Um, but it's very clear what's going on. Um, and it's unfortunate as fuck is what it is. It's uh, real sad to see they're in Congo right now. You know, both of them are are facing similar, similar threats, and uh, nobody's stopping it. Like we're literally watching it before our eyes take place. And it's how can you? It, it's basically what you're saying, and that's how sad it is. Um, 
just like when when people tell me, and, and I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you, I am. This not the first time this happened. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's not. And it, it that doesn't matter. No. When I say that, yeah, it don't matter. It makes it worse. Facts. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because like, we haven't learned yet. When I when I first saw that, and I knew it, it probably it happened before I saw it. It's the devil. <laughs> when I saw that, it. And then knew that our country, which you know, you know, whatever however my mental work is, I don't know what you're doing. I'm not a, a president. I'm not in Congress. I'm not that. So I don't know how can, you can make a whole world do whatever you. I don't know. Right. I, I, didn't, I'm, I just don't know about that. But to say that y'all are allies mm-hmm. and help funding it, you're helping fund it. You're backing yeah, it. Well, well, you're giving them military supplies, yeah. Isn't that what yeah. it is? Yeah. And yeah. then I, it, they also is helping. They also fund the what they call it the the health, the welfare part of Gaza, whatever the case may be. They do do that also, but so the the the, the person all. that gives the disease also sells the cure. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, it, no, I think it's more political than that. I think. Yeah. But anyway, content, c- come on, talk about it some more. Because what, what kind of, if you could stand in front of the Congress and ask them to do something about it, what would you tell them? To stop giving them fucking military aid. To, to stop, to not get, not done. <laughs> like, I mean, it's not done, but like. Look at all the damage you've already done. Like, you should, this should be done with. Like, it should be over. Like, you should not be giving them the weaponry to literally wipe out an entire people. Like, you you, you absolutely should not be doing, like, that's not even for you to do. But we have so much interest in Israel mm-hmm. that a lot of people don't know. Them are our global elitists. You know, um, that's them. That's who's in charge of a whole lot of stuff. And all over the world, like, including the U.S., you know, and the U.S. knows that. Without them, they don't have the control Mm -hmm. that they would have with Israel. And if everybody knew the truth, well, they're already doing it. They already did it. That's the thing. Like, it, that's that's how they roll. Like, if you don't, people don't wake the fuck up, it's going to be here. It's going to be knocking at our front door because, I mean, it's happened right before our eyes so many times. You know what I mean? And, like, how many times is is we're really just going to be like, okay, well, yeah, we're, we're backing our government's decisions here well, as we the people. Yeah. And when they're rogue, they're not they're not doing shit based off the, what the people want them to do. They're doing shit for their own interest. Mm. It's not for us. They're rogue. Like so, until that's handled, I don't know what to do. I'm gonna be honest with you, cause like I think. Well, <laughs> let me say this because. I had a talk with Ronnie Yamin on the philosophy show about that. I'm not defending America. I, I, that's the one thing I criticize uh, President Biden on. That's the one thing I criticize. <coughs> but, you know, me being a uh, historian, like I, I study, I peep all the, all the actions of all the presidents, even from George Washington. And when it comes to this Biden <coughs> situation, um, that's I'm a, I criticize him on that, but I he has not changed since the rest of these motherfuckers. Everybody fucking supported Israel, period. But they also gave aid to the Gaza. That's political. What I'm what I will say for people who feel like how you feel, yeah, I think the all the government feel that way. It's people that in the government who are fucking protesting just like how you are protesting. They are. You know what I'm saying? So I think 
It is. Like, even in Michigan, if you look that up, I think it was the senator that, if look it up yourself, it's a female. It's a female senator, I believe, uh, led a uh, protest when Biden was given the primaries of no contests. They said, don't vote for, don't vote commitment because of the tax fine. So you y'all not is y'all not alone with it. So right. I don't know what I can't speak on what to do and all that type of shit. But I say continue to talk about it. And it's wrong. It is wrong. It, I mean, I don't understand it. Um, I, I say this: the excuse they give is not enough for me as far as Israel because they had the excuse. Hamas is within those. That they are amongst them, so they just gotta bomb the whole goddamn place. Fuck it. I don't accept that. No. I don't accept that. No. You can't just, it's innocent people getting, it, it shouldn't be, you gotta have some type of fucking humanity. Yes. And then why we aiding them? Right. Why we aiding, even if, why, first of all, why we aiding Israel? I get, I get that on a political level, right. but the war part, I don't get. Right. Why are we aiding Gaza when they should be? You're the one doing it. You should be trying to get these. All right, we're going to war. Get these motherfuckers out of here and put them here. Right. How long you been doing this? Right. I don't know. <clears throat> I'm just, yeah. Maybe that's just too simple. I don't know. I'm just saying. Yeah. All right. On that note, we're about to go to a quick break because I already know. I had to ask you, though. Sis. Yeah, boy. Yeah, that's poor politics hard. <laughs> that's a that's a that's a that's a horrid topic right there because you just be like you, you you get so fed up with the shit you just be like burn it all you know yeah. but you know that's not the solution you know what I'm saying but some people don't but we'll talk about that on another <laughs> show <laughs> <laughs> right hey before we go to this break whose mic is this Ray lay down the truth yeah we'll be right back. Louis Wood. What's up, Lady World? Science and Night Street, Science and Night. Floyd Ford. You know what it is. I love my city. We got it going on. That's what Brian did today. Got the car. See, we got the blue, block to block, corner to corner. You know how we do it. Grind in, that's what it is. I call it home. Floyd, boy, I miss you, drop. St. Louis, my city. St. Louis, my home. St. Louis, my city. Where is he to catch a slug in the hood, play dumb? Where is he to catch a case in any time? 
Louis, my home. Oh, yeah. My home. Oh, yeah. St. Louis, my city. Oh, yeah. say too much of his business but prayers up for my fam um saint floyd gonna step in uh for this uh 314 headliner show with uh versus wayne b hey it's going motherfucking <laughs> um, i want to send some shout out to our people that's coming from dallas man because um it's all respect for people who come fuck with us from out of town um, and they, they, I mean, from Dallas, I done, I done drove to Dallas a few times. That's not, you know, but they about they shit. Shout out to Jay Waiters, Tad Nips, uh, Yo Wingman. Hey, we appreciate y'all coming down, fucking with uh, People Choice, there it is. Soldier by Blood and NLP is going down. Hey, network when y'all get down. When y'all see to the network, y'all networking with motherfuckers who, who want some real shit. That's how we get down. That's the blessings of fucking with real motherfuckers. Thanks. All right? All day. All right, with that being said, we about to talk about lit linguistics. Lit, nope, don't tell me. I always fuck it up on Everybody the Everybody struggles. It's okay. Lit linguistic. You got it. There we yep. go. Yep. Lit linguistic. I've yep. said it about 20 times already <laughs> today. You hear me? Red leather, yellow leather. <laughs> Man. So lit linguistics, yes. Lit yes. linguistics. How did you yes. come up with this beautiful event? Okay, so. I, hey, when, you, when y'all came up with that. We been came up with it. Low key, <laughs> we let people stall us with it and shit. You know what I'm saying? Be careful, like, who you present shit with because, like, like no shade. Not everything aligns, you know, okay. with what you're trying to do. Mm-hmm. And um, it, it took a, a time gap on us. We could have been did this. Um, and we've been wanting to do something like, a, like our own deaf poetry from here in St. Louis, you know what I'm saying? Because that's the only platform that we really have to go off of. It's the only real big uh, platform that was given to poets. Mm -hmm. And, you know, now you got a couple that, you know, you can find on YouTube that be elsewhere. We wanted to be that here in St. Louis, you know, and showcase St. Louis's talent. (laughs) We'd be so dope, like, when I when I found the open mics, I didn't even know the shit existed. Like I didn't know that open mics showcases. There was people that were performing poetry. I did not know. Like I lived in a whole nother place and time. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, like mm-hmm. it was a totally different world. Um, people in the streets weren't talking about poetry and like uh, you know you heard about like live entertainment comedy musicians yeah. but 
no poets, you know. Mm-hmm. And when I found it, I, you know, I've been writing since I was a young girl. So mm-hmm. when I found them, I was like, whoa, I didn't, this was a whole new world. I was like, whoa, I didn't even know there was a platform for this. Like, this is what I, I, I do. Like, you know, like. That's crazy to say that. Yeah, like this is what I do with all this shit that I've been given, you right. know? Like, okay, boom. I, that I started networking and being involved in the community and a um, couple people, you know, do paid performances early on and gave me my first little showcase and I'm not going to say little, yeah. my first showcase yeah. and my first performance and my first paid gig and then being able to network and have other opportunities in doing my purpose. Like, I felt like I told myself a long time ago, all this real bad stuff that happened to me in life, I wanted to make sure it wasn't all in vain. You know, like, I wanted to make sure that, um, because I learned a lot of life lessons. And I'm not saying I'm, no smarter than the next person, you know, but I feel like shared experiences amongst each other is how we mm-hmm. gain wisdom, you know, not opinions, not judgments, but shared experiences mm-hmm. is what gives us wisdom, right? Mm-hmm. And because you have that knowledge, but how are you going to apply it? Are we learning from these things? Like some of the things were self-inflicted and some of the things were not, mm-hmm. you know, but in all of it, and what I learned, I was already writing in a place of therapy, and then it grew to a place of perspective, and then it grew to a place of a message, you know? And <clears throat> this was a lot of transformation that nobody even seen. This was before I even stepped out on the open mic scene, you know? Um, so learning the the business or the culture of it was new to me because <clears throat> I was like, why ain't everybody like fucking with each other? Mm. That's yeah. the first thing I came in and was like, there's a lot of like riffraff, like, yeah. you know, and you guys are all real talented people. Mm-hmm. Um, and that was another thing when I first, I mean, it just blew me away. The talent, I was just like, wow, you know? I never really thought my shit was like that great or, you know, whatever, you know. Mm -hmm. And I heard these people and I was just like, wow, like these are some really talented individuals, you know. Like nobody's giving them like a platform or like no, nobody's showcasing this art and they're so talented, you know. Mm -hmm. And I was like, you know, the open mic scene, cool. The, the, The showcases are cool, but they're few and far in between. Most showcases you see are musicians, comedians, it's not poets, you know. Now they're starting to sprinkle us in here and there, you know. Um, But that's where I feel like truth and culture is getting sprinkled in, real truth and culture, Mm -hmm. you know. And and comedians do it in a a way. Musicians do it in a way, too. Um, But there's so much clout towards the negative shit than the positive you know, the positive messages don't get near as many shares, likes, yeah. follows, you true, know. True. But you, you talking about pussy holes and booties, you going to get a lot of likes, yeah. you yeah. know. Um, or you talking about, like, you know. You know. Strange. Yeah, strange. just it's shit that's, that's really fucking up our, our, our people, you know. Mm-hmm. Shit that's really fucking up our people. And it's happening young, like. These kids is listening to this stuff real young, and <clears throat> it's affecting us as a whole, as a people, like what we're listening to. And we have the power to change that, but we just got to get enough people on board, you know. And I'm not saying yeah. that's not cool. On so, like, I'm not saying that's not art, and uh, and it uh, and it doesn't have to be. I'm not saying me? none of that. You look but you let because because there's always a time and a place for everything, right? You yeah. know what I'm saying. But it shouldn't be mainstream. It shouldn't be for our four year olds that they, they they hearing it so much that they hear this type of music. If this country is ran by grown, mature individuals who want to see the future of our children and just the future of everybody doing better, come on. Yeah. I hear. I mean, it's it's that simple. Yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, but, but it's clear. But we don't we don't see it. There's a hidden agenda. And I it's it, and it goes up. all the way back to the spiritual warfare though. It's it's more it's more than it's more us. To me, I'm taking blame because it's more us. I'm seeing it's more us. Yeah. I see them, but I don't see them. Right. I see us. You hear me. <laughs> so you I, hear I'm me. just I, I'm I'm kind of I get what you're saying, but I don't actually. I'm a, I'm seeing the damage from looking at somebody white in their eyes, like the, just the white in their eyes, right. not white eyes, motherfucker, not a white person, right. white in their eyes, right. like I'm looking at you, fucking. <laughs> yeah. Um, I think they switching the game, but anyway. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm just saying. Because if we, this one thing I learned in this game, and now I'm very happy where I'm at in the game right now. So I'm not speaking about right now. I love this shit. But in the beginning, a lot of people talk their bullshit. Oh, we need to do this. We need to be this. We need, we need to, I'm looking at you. You're not doing it. Right. So why you talking? Right. Suit me up to yeah. do it for you. Yeah. Because I'm going to do it. Right. But right. if you not helping, how we going to win? Right. Stop it. That's why. Yeah. You see who's for themselves <laughs> and who's not. Period. Yeah. Ain't nobody perfect. No. Nobody. At all. We can all look at imperfection yeah. and hate. We can pick anybody apart. Yeah, but let's be for real, real. Yeah. We get down. Yeah. And it and it just goes by observation. Like I like fuck how I feel about it. You know what I'm saying? Fuck all that. It just by simple <laughs> observation, it just be like, damn, okay. Because I understand sometimes we all stumble fuck up, uh act disproportionate to oh, the yeah. event. You know what I'm okay. saying? That happens. However We're human. Right, we are human. <laughs> we are human. But you can't when in that moment you know it's it it's very delicate <laughs> and we have opportunities in the moments mm -hmm. to 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 build bridges or burn them talk to them you know talk to them and it's and it's for a bigger purpose than i just don't like you cuz i cannot like you and still fucking respect your position man you know what I mean? Respect your art. Respect who you are. I can still do that. If I if I respected you before, I respect you still. I just don't like you in certain fucking aspects. Therefore, I don't fuck with you in certain ways. You know what I'm saying? It's not that I'm gonna. I don't. I don't wish no ill on you. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because at the end of the day, if I wanted to work with you, then I would still want to work with you. However. You got to be able to communicate and mend and be adaptable and 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 look commitment. Yeah. You look past a lot of shit. You know what I'm saying? When you with somebody a long time, don't you if you can't just pick them apart. No. You know what I'm saying? And it's easy to do. It's yeah, easy to pick people apart, yeah. you know? But to have grace and compassion to know you ain't fucking perfect neither. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you ain't fucking perfect neither. Like check yourself, check you know? You. Yeah, like you too big for your britches right now, yeah. you know. For no reason. We all gods up in this motherfucker, but don't super god. Yeah, like come on now. We love each other. It, you find more in the compassion than the bullshit, cause Man. we can all let that go. Believe me, <laughs> you know what I'm saying. But the bigger purpose is to show, you know, I don't, I, you know, as far as my age, man, I. This one thing I'm going to say. I don't have time to play, period. So why just won't, just cut out the extra shit if you really want to get to another spot? Right. I'm just, that's how right. I feel. And like you say, ain't nobody perfect, but at the same time, we all have to accept it, accept it too. You know what I'm saying? Like you're saying, but uh, it's hard. It is. It's hard. Dealing with community hard, but like for a bigger picture, <laughs> man. 
every relationship is hard though. Like tripping. Well, a good, I say this, and I know where you're going. A good, solid relationship is worth what you're saying. Right. That's why. I'm yeah. <laughs> if it ain't good, I don't think I'm gonna waste too much time on it. Yeah. Because you done showed me up front, I think I'm going to believe you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, yeah. and, and I'm, I don't think you was going that way with it. I think you was just talking, I think you was talking about good relationships. Yeah. It is I, hard I work. Yeah. yeah. Good relationships are hard work. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Because communication ain't easy. You two different people that think differently, um, respond differently, dream different. differently. <laughs> You're different, you yeah. know? Even the, the closest motherfucker to you, I, I don't. They're different, you know. But hold on. <clears throat> but with that being said, though, because that goes right into a question I was going to ask you, with the collaboration of you and Tony with poetry, like how does that work? Because it's what magic. <laughs> what do you mean? Did like, you say y'all did y'all write poetry together? No. What you? I thought. What you say? Collab on? Oh, we co-create. I, co I mean, we collab on everything in fucking life, pretty much. But, okay. <laughs> but I, uh, I, I must have. I thought you said co. So co. Co-created co the kids. I was like uh. my our most. <laughs> I was like our be, my best art. I was like co-created by my man Tony. Yeah. I, missed I was that. talking about. I was talking, about, talking about the kids. About the kids. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Over yeah, head. people's choice cool too, you know what I'm saying? Right. But not like the kids, you know. Right. Yeah. That's the best art. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I got it my bag. Yeah. That's that poetry <laughs> still has. I'm like, hold on. He said that was a poetry answer. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. But yeah. I hey, it, I, I said poetry, but I'm gonna switch it to the lit lit, lit linguistics. Yeah. How so, so um well, he had created the whole channel and stuff, right? Like, okay, so he had seen the the need for a platform for poetry, right? And was already, like, kind of been on this type of wave, um, like, years ago, whenever I met him, trying to support local artists and sell their CDs at his shop and shit like that, right? Okay, fast forward 10 years, 12 years type shit, you know. Um, I'm doing poetry, and, like, he decides, like, yo, I'm going to do this channel thing. And, like, builds this channel, gets it going, um, an app, you know, like, you can download it here and there and all this other shit just for the... There was no real... <clears throat> platform for us so Real talk. so yeah like he just kind of created a lane for it and prior to doing this stuff like we had already been working with other poets that were doing shows so we were like trying to collaborate with them to like yo put it on our channel you know and we'll showcase it as like st louis open mics <coughs> um st louis poets you know, uh, St. Louis, uh, you know, curators, platforms, whatever, you know, mm -hmm. the venue, the whole nine yards. So we did that with a couple people, um, first being, uh, yeah, Kaiserific, Kaiserific and Cass Mo, actually, because we had a couple of his shows too. Mm -hmm. And then, um, and then it came to Pin Up and Shut Up. And that was now two years ago, um, where Artemis, uh, who was Artemis, created a poetry battle show, mm -hmm. and so we just kind of slowly have been adding content to the to the channel. Um, and meanwhile, I'm going to open mics, so I'm announcing the channel, and I'm also meeting new artists and stuff, and we wanted to do like what we're doing now with lit linguistics but it got pushed back a little bit uh, we did a amateur 
poetry thing first, which didn't work out, and for a reason, obviously. Um, but once we had found the venue to do it at, um, we decided, okay, let's let's do it. And like, what was gonna be different? It was gonna be different because we were airing it on the channel, mm -hmm. showcasing St. Louis as a whole globally. You know, like it's not like a YouTube. It's not. It's, yeah. It's, you know, it's, YouTube has a lot of benefits and a lot of perks. You know, but um, when you're talking about wholeness, it can only get you so far because you got to search all these different people where you can go to one channel and see a whole bunch of different St. Louis artists on one place, you know. Um, Talk to them. And it's real easy to, like, find and navigate, download. It's free. Like, it's real accessible. So our hopes was once we get it out there, um, the poets would see the vision and want to fuck with us, you know. Yeah. And in that time of gaining relationships and talking about the channel with people and stuff like that once we had started it was all timely it was divinely timed because it everything went how it was supposed to go we found the good the perfect venue shout out neat restaurant and bar um yeah they show mad love um and once we found that it was like okay boom we're gonna do it we're gonna showcase eight artists at a time you know and because there's so many of us there's so many poets. People don't know nothing about them. You know? Nothing. Like, you'd be like, who? Nobody. You might know a local comedian. You might know a local musician. But you probably don't know a local poet. And if you do, it's because they're in the spots getting promoted by the people that do the comedy mm -hmm. or the music. You know what I mean? Yeah. And because some people did reach out and be like, okay, we're going to sprinkle some of these poets in here, you know? And shout out to y'all that do that, mm -hmm. you know? Um, because that kind of gives us another... You book people like me, I can redirect them to, like, all the other poets. And, like, I don't... We're not showcasing them because they're, like, our artists, our shows, mm -hmm. none of that. Lit Linguistics is our show. We got two podcasts on there that's exclusively ours. You know what I mean? But, like, everything else pretty much is other people's stuff. And, like, we just come in and record it or we air it on the channel. That's it, you know? You so, got, got that's how that kind of... Yeah, that's kind of how it got worked out. All day, all day, all day. Hold on, man. So, and beautiful indeed. Okay. And beautiful indeed. So... I, I, I just heard the, the, the whole story. Mm -hmm. And so how, how long has it been going? Um, I guess maybe 2021. So three years? End of 2021. I think it was, yeah, because we started with, 2021 Queens of Poetry. That was the first, yeah. Wow. So three years. Almost, yeah. yeah. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> the my people got them. <laughs> yeah. So how the channel do it? It's steady growing. Like we, he looks at analytics all the time, and, and um, you know, it's you know growing uh, globally, which is what's really cool. You know, yeah, that's what I'm talking. About. Yeah, like when you see them <laughs> other countries hit, you're like, damn, yeah, you know, yeah, and they steady yeah. keep downloading it, and you be like, whoa, okay, so you steady keep viewing this motherfucker, okay, mm -hmm. so that's cool. Like I, yeah, it's Talk it's it's slowly growing, and the more the more shows we showcase the more people find it you know and we hope that they can like find each other support each other network you know let's get these businesses commercials backing us let's get sponsored by our own people let's mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying support our own people out here like let's put 
supporting these people that we don't even know and like not gonna benefit from and like if you run out of gas you can't be like hey can I get ten dollars like right. <laughs> <laughs> just yeah. saying because I don't know about you but life be life and sometimes it you know do. It do. <laughs> so yeah so listen mm-hmm. I'm finna sit here and, and give you another round of applause <laughs> because I be hearing people talking about they do they global this and global that. I'm just talking about you. Did you hear what she said? She said we. Yeah. That's how you know lamos from boo boos. Oh, I'm global, huh? Right. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm sorry. No. <laughs> it's all good. You know I'm all Cause right. it ain't nothing without y'all. You know what I'm saying? Like a real motherfucker know. It ain't nothing without y'all. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, there wouldn't be a need for a channel if there wasn't so many dope artists that needed to be showcased. Man. That's all. So. You know? Hey, you heard it. Yeah. And if you if you interested in, yeah, if you're interested in airing any content, you can always email us at poeticmovement100 at gmail. And um, all the content starts at $75 for unlimited content every month to stream. Whatever it is, so, I mean, it's got to be, um, you know, it can't be like nudity and stuff like that. But it can full exposure, you know, explicit language, you know what I'm saying, all that shit. But if you're interested in airing it, then just email us. Um, all the all the information can be given to you. So talk to them. Y'all heard that? <laughs> all right, all right. We got us uh, some questions from the uh, people online, man. They didn't, they didn't bite. <laughs> I, I know Lil C. Hold on, where we, where we at? I got to scroll all the way back. He was like, how you feel about the FTL uh, scene? I mean, I feel the same way I did when I came into it. I love y'all, you know? I've learned a lot of lessons and how to deal with certain people. Um, but I still got a lot of hope for us, you know. Um, shit happens, like. But we can move past it, too. You know what? <laughs> That's why I fuck with these people. Because I'm going to say this. Um. Before I met y'all, I, I definitely, I know Sane was around, Daddy Rich. I, I just yeah. got back with Daddy Rich and Sane Floyd, man. So it's been like a super gap, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, most high put the peoples around you at the right Amber. time. Yep. You know what I'm saying? So um, I can't say, because I'm a firm <laughs> believer in, I don't let, like, if I get my heart broke, the next person, I'm not going to let that affect that because I feel like I'm going to be losing my blessing right. because you are who you are. You yeah. know what I'm you start, you know, bowing up, then it ain't you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, um, fucking with you, like, reconfirmed like a lot of things that I just want to continue to do, but it's, I was like about 75 to 80% about to be like, Fuck it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, fuck it. You know what I'm saying? But just being around good people, because that's what what I'm. I think I'm very blessed to to be around. You know what I'm saying? Um, helps you helps good people stay good people. Yeah. I say that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I do. Because it's easy to go. And my thing is, and, and you can say it ain't nobody perfect, and I accept that shit. But best believe, but if I fuck with you, I fuck with you. Yeah, <laughs> I feel that. I feel that. <laughs> and 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 you know, we I I tell him all this. I wouldn't go hard for people that I felt like didn't fuck with me. Like I'm fucking with who fuck with me. Like, do you do you think there's re that I don't just tag motherfuckers for no like hashtag fucking soldier by blood i don't do that for no reason you know what i'm saying we there's a lot of connections that i made through you that i honor just for the simple fact that it was through you 
You know what I mean? Um, because I do trust that. And and same goes for all my other affiliates that I fuck with. You know what I'm saying? That I constantly tag and, and is an, and is around me and we have mm-hmm. outside conversation. You feel me? Like not too much of that go on. So if it go on, like I fucks with you. You know, and, and everybody know who the fuck that is. You know what I mean? Continually we're making money and doing shows together. Soldier by Blood, NLP, there it is. Uh People's Choice, you know, uh Pin Up or Shut Up. All done. Um, and then, you know, we got the lit linguistics, like he was we was talking about. We did all that. We got um another member of the community to um help sponsor the show. Oh, Cannon Management. Shout out. You know. Man. Yeah, shout out to Cannon Management L L C. Hold on, let me get him up. And he helped sponsor that lit linguistics show, you know. So because that's what we supposed to be doing out here. Yeah. We're supposed to be trying to support each other and coming together and collaborating and, and spreading the money. Oh, spreading the opportunity. Yes. Here. Yeah. Talk because there's that. enough of it here. Like we don't have no reason to go. When they come here, it should be nothing but collaboration and yeah. fucking networking going on. Because we is solid enough here. Yeah. If people would just put that shit aside a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Just a little bit. Like I can still respect you. It ain't gotta be like who we cool type shit with past hate we can't be on that shit we can't be hating each other there's enough hate out in this fucking world man we not each other enemy we is not each other enemy especially if we've already showed each other love man we already know what it is you know what i'm saying don't get don't let a moment steal that from you you know what i mean because i feel like that's a blessing being stole because as a community we dope and we all benefit from all of us being here all of us can eat all of us benefit this, you know, to be like, fuck all of us yeah. or fuck you or, fu- you know, j- you don't have to fuck with them, but no hate, like, yeah. no, you know. Yeah. I'm with you, I'm with you. I think you are, no, 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 no. So for the lit linguistics. Who were or are your favorite teachers so far? Oh. <laughs> what? <laughs> nah. Yeah, I can't answer that. <laughs> I know I've been real honored to showcase so many, so many of St. Louis renegades. You hear me? Yeah. Spitfires. Fucking just... Mm, yeah, I can't just. I'm gonna tell you what though. I'm a. I'm a shout out Shea Brown for the simple fact that um, she helped us touch a few artists that we probably wouldn't have been able to touch, you know, um, and showcase. So that's what it's about. Also, you know, extending this opportunity outside to people that you know would benefit being on the channel you know what i mean deserve to have their roses deserve to be showcased like Mm -hmm. we want you and not to like if if they if they were to pay us and put a commercial on that you would just be helping us showcase you like in the end it's not for our like we're already doing this with no benefit like financially (laughs) you feel me like people miss the miss the cue when they're like all of this goes back to them it goes back to the artists you know like we're already doing it without profit you know (laughs) (laughs) month after month (laughs) after month you know year after year yeah and any little money you you get you you, we're not done throwing shows like it continues like it Mm -hmm. just you feel me so it's all for that bigger purpose um and, and showcasing what St. Louis has because in so many other cities, they support their artists. Hmm. You know? You can go to another motherfucker city and they're bumping their music. Hmm. You know? Shit you've never heard. And they'd be like, oh, this is our local artist. You know? This is a local artist, such and such. Hmm. Where's that here? 
on our networks. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's where you true. hear these motherfuckers and they're dope. You know, not just ours. Like, uh, uh, I will sh- uh, shout out fucking my city, my music. Yeah, they they be yeah they be sh- uh, showcasing local artists and you know there's podcasts over there that play all through Soldier by Blood been doing this. You hear me playing all artist shit. You know. Um, yeah, we all just jumped on the on the on on board with the boat that was already in sail. You know what I mean? And in the end, like, well, you added more to it. Yeah, absolutely. Mm-hmm. Cause you come with value. Oh, you know yeah. what I mean? Come with value. If you want others around you to have value, have something to present. Oh, yeah. yeah, cause this is give and take, and that's how we thrive like that. Because there's enough for everybody. It is. Yeah. It is. We all can shine. See, we done did it before. Just, we just got to keep doing it. Because ain't nobody shining here. <laughs> I don't know if y'all heard, like, ain't too many fucking spot. Ain't, like, ain't ain't nobody work. talking about St. Louis. Like, why ain't not? We need to be on the fucking map. We need to be pushing this shit. Babe, Help us. Like, like, like I, I said, I got a job. <laughs> <laughs> you did. So I don't know what they, I, I still got a job. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty sure none of this paying the bills. Money. Yeah, like we do this out of the love, period, and the motherfucking passion, period. And, and that, so stop, please. yeah, please, yeah, let's do this shit. Yeah, you hitting that shit right on the nail. Yeah. Let me give you. <laughs> and, and while you was talking, I had to come back and, and, and congratulate you again because that thirty is Thursday was hell. I appreciate that. Yeah, that was a nice. That was nice. Yeah, that little talk so show segment. That's a that's an interesting show. There, we're honored to showcase that show too, man. Because that's I a, wanted to talk. Yeah, but you know what? I'm gonna fuck with them on one day. I'm I'm actually do the open mic. He was like, you gonna you gonna perform? I was in. I wouldn't even because you know I don't be yeah. in my artist mode. Yeah, and my queens. But I'm like, nah, I don't have to. But I'm like, you know what? No, why not? Turn this motherfucker real quick. Yeah, turn this motherfucker. I was, I'll fuck with y'all. Plus, y'all do the talk show shit because I, I, I like they topics. Yeah, okay. I'm sure. I'm sure. Uh, in in due time, you you have your spot on that motherfucker too. Yeah, you know I'm, I'm gonna hit the open mic first. I I gotta yeah. do. You know what I'm saying? I gotta. I feel like I gotta do that. Yeah. You know so. I don't know. I might I've be been fucking with them three years week. now. That three years I've yeah. been supporting nerds. You hear me? It popped up on Have the memory. It been three years for it's, them? it's been three years for them. Hey. Yep. I, I mean, not on the I channel. With them in the beginning. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We ain't been fucking with them on the channel like that, but I definitely been supporting uh, Nerdist Thursday oh, for yeah. three years yeah. since Lusha Road. Love. You know. So, Love yeah, it. shout out to the consistency of everybody Woo. out here, man, you know, think, putting in work. I, I think I, I fuck with them off the island. Um, and they was on Martin Luther King. Yeah. Is that the second one? Yeah, yeah, so that was after Lesher. Yeah. Um, and then they, they had two spots on MLK, though. They had the one over there off of Union and MLK, and then they moved further down MLK. And then they was there, and then they went up to Too Much Sauce. Oh. Yeah, and then they now at Neat where we do little linguistics. Yeah. yeah, I don't think, but yeah, shout, shout out to Rod Rico. I've been a guy, yeah. my guys. Hey, yeah. they gonna be there tomorrow. God damn, gang, gang. Like I said we get down. Yeah, <laughs> for sure. Man, and respectable individuals, as I might add. You know what I'm saying? Sure. I like fucking with people. You know, like <clears throat> I, I, that I can respect on an actual personal level too yeah. you know i like yeah. doing business with people like that like if i can respect you real life in person the business i'm doing with you is a lot better i respect it a lot more i value it a lot more you know that's just me though some people can look past a lot of shit yeah. when i'm doing business though i showcase that all everybody all of us get a chance you know what i'm saying but like business wise like collaborating Ain't nothing wrong with Not that. And you know this, man. man. You dig. All right. So with that being said, before we go to this next break, what we you doing? We, we knocking some shit out. Period. You hit us a little bit, but I'm, I'm going to ask you anyway. 
what's the answer to making something happen? In the world? What's the answer to making something happen in the world? Just doing it and like collaborating with like-minded individuals that have the same goal and vision in mind as you. Just period, point blank, because it could be anybody and your match might not be my match and my match might not be your match and so on and so forth, you know? Mm -hmm. But there's definitely matches and collaborations out here for everybody that we can all kind of hook together some way, somehow, you know? Um, and do it and just you got to find your tribe you got to find people that you respect and and value their business and what they bring to the table and have a similar vision in mind and just do it just do it hey. learn as you, you go that shit. Yeah. all right Ray lay down too we about to go to another break okay but you know i gotta ask you yeah Whose mic is this? This shit is Ray laying on the truth mic. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Take this back by 40 years, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Shout out to Danny Green. <laughs> Focus on kids. <laughs> Of the 
us out to holla at my guy. King of the blue grass, man, whoop your blue flag. If I stack slack, so come correct. Don't mind the pit bull pistol or my queen, mister. Put the cameras away, plus don't take pictures. See nothing funny, had to cut them clowns short. No, I don't play dummy. Setting up the table, cause I know the meal is coming. I don't fuck with who you fuck with, I don't see the point. If I'm smoking big blunts, why you rolling joints? Never legal with the promo, the people choice. Shepherd Bowling Green to Collinsville, I'm stamp. We made the count. Why you hating on me? Cause it's slated for me. Get to get up off your legs, you might get in my G. Stop supporting them lame. In the black. I can't fuck with no haters, I done did that way back Heart open, no jack, but homie became straight rag That's fact, so I move accordingly Stay cornball free, man, you can't get close to me Hell no, you don't see me, ain't no money where you be at Fuck, you gon' see me in the hate where you be at No, you don't see me in the sucker where you be at No, you don't see me in the trippin' where you be at It was, and that little that little joint y'all dropping together that that motherfucker hot too. Hey, I, I like it. it. Yeah, I like the collaboration going on. You know what I'm saying? Hey, I, I appreciate yeah. it, man. I appreciate it, that man. Hey, we need that. Hey. We need that collaboration. You know what I'm saying? Tie, tie in, lock in, man. Link up. Link up, motherfucker. Let's do it. Yeah. All right, all right. What's next for you? Oh man. Well. 
we want to dive into this comedy shit because we don't have a lot on the channel, you know. Uh, if you're a musician, we're doing few free music videos to upload to the channel to showcase you. Uh, right now, if you download it, you'll see it's a whole playlist of local artists' uh, music videos up. We already doing that for free. We already got the poetry thing going. Um, we got a show for Lit Linguistics uh, this coming Monday, March 18th, up at Harris Stowe. We're collaborating with Rewrite. It's a poetry organization through the college. Yeah. Shout out Mother K Money Day. for that. Yeah. Um, Lovely. Yeah, so that's the collaboration going on with Lit Linguistics this month. But, yeah, we're trying to tap into that now, you know? And I know a lot of comedians don't like to um, showcase their acts yet, you know what I'm saying? Because they... they they brew them up real nicely and present them at showcases. And if everybody knows their set, then, you know, I guess they think it's not going to be that funny or whatever. But, um, and, you know, whatever. I understand or, or you know, respect that. Um, but we have pay-per-view options now that we can charge folks to see, you know. And it can be any set price of their choice. Um, and we, we are thinking about just doing our own specials, period and putting them on there to show people what a pay-per-view looks like, you know, um, what a special looks like, um, and then do it, okay. you know. Um, right. We're just the examples. We're, Come on. Yeah, we're right just the there. examples. We're really the channel, we're the network that we want to showcase you on, but we will help and do whatever. We built this from the bottom up just like most people. So, hey. yeah, we'll work yeah. with you. Well, you yeah. already got you a customer. Let's go. Yeah, yeah, period. Got a sponsor right now. I'm, I'm ready for some pay per view shit. <laughs> I heard that. <laughs> I'm dead. Yeah, yeah. Because we want to see how it look. And come on, man. Like, look at this. Like, we got our own shit. Like, that you can you can showcase yourself professionally under your own regulations and rules on your own content. Not not have to deal with nobody you don't want to deal with. And if it's a hit, then the commercial goes on your show. You get paid for that. You know? So. It is, um, you can make money off of it, you know. Right. Um, it's all about the work you put into your own creation. You know, we're just showcasing you. Like, Netflix ain't famous. Well, you know, they started creating shows, so they got famous for their own shows or whatever. But they were showcasing other people's stuff, you know. And this is a network like Netflix. Like, we're just the channel. Like, we can put anything on there, any series any network, any anything exclusively to you and your brand, and it will be under your brand, under your own subcategory, you know, um, just like it would be like scary movies, you know, you have you have your own there it is Thursday slot, your own Soldier by Blood slot, your own NLP slot, you know what I'm saying, and have all the content you want underneath one stream, so. With the comedians, we have, like, a couple promos up of a couple of them that we got, you know. But there's a lot of talent amongst the comedians in St. Louis. So, yeah, we ready to, I think, tap on that. I think that's what's next is, is the, the comedy aspect of things. And we will talk more about what you just said. <laughs> what was that? You, oh. Uh, you all for it? You got a sponsor with oh, that? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We yeah. talked about that. Yeah, I'm all. Yeah, we just on. Yeah, cause yeah. we can make that happen. Yeah. Yeah, we, we need to. On it. Yeah. Cause that need that needs to be done. Cause that's obvious what needs to be done. We want to do some shit. Yeah. Um. And we can. And we can record it, and we can be great. Cause all this shit is like a TV show to me. <laughs> <laughs> I be thinking like it is. A, it's a game. <laughs> yeah, I be like, this is a test. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm gonna pass it. I think. <laughs> Don't pass it. But I think. Yeah, if you Catch me on the wrong around. day, goddamn it! <laughs> <laughs> you know, I ain't a killer, but don't push me, damn. Like, damn. But yeah, so I, that's why I pray up to the most high every day. <laughs> you do. Well, yeah, I have to. <laughs> me too. I gotta center myself, cause <laughs> man, be like a hot fire. All right, I'm gonna ask you these questions. I know it's gonna be hard for you to ask, but you gotta answer. 
<laughs> you gotta give us some somebody Damn. want that love, all right? Okay. <laughs> Who are your favorite rap or locally? Let me just say locally first. Who are your favorite which I, I probably didn't have to say that. <laughs> Who is your favorite uh hip hop artist? Okay. R and B artist. Okay. Poet and okay. comedian. Who is okay. your favorite? Okay. Um <clears throat> I'm thinking hard and I'm gonna <laughs> fucking I'm gonna that's so fucked up cause like I don't it's alright I know it's not even that <laughs> it's like it's just really hard you know what I'm saying like really like real shit like it's really hard to say like my favorite like so it, you, nah I'm gonna let you think for a minute <laughs> man okay so Ooh. Because I'm always introduced to new artists all the time. And they're so dope. Like, mm, so I have to go with, like, and I don't like doing that because they've been, like, political answers instead of, like. (laughs) Okay, so hip hop, hip hop, I'm going to go, I'm going to go with the Stax Brothers with hip hop. I can I can I can comfortably say that. Yeah. Um yeah, the yeah. And 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 so many different for a lot of different reasons. I'm not even going to go into all the different reasons, but for a lot of different reasons I can I can do say that. Um and there's a lot of people, I mean right there with them. Oh, okay. But I I'll, I'll go with that. Um R&B you know, I'm I'd be really impressed by a lot of people, um, but I don't think anybody has really blew me away as much as Leah Z did. Hmm. Yeah. Shout out to Leah Z, goddamn. Yeah. <laughs> From the moment I heard her at an open mic, her raw voice, I was like yeah. flawless. I mean, really, like radio ready record ready like you know what I'm saying um very professional absolutely talented you know um and I don't I don't know her like on a personal level or nothing but when I think about singers that kind of just instantly like blew me away there's there's quite a few up under her too but I'm just saying definitely she sticks out to me um yeah no doubt them two good ones. I didn't hear both of them. And then a poet. Um, this fucked up. But I'm gonna go. I'm gonna take the easy route, and I'm gonna say Brother Ting. Brother because Ting. Brother Ting don't be around a lot. He deserves his respect. Um, mm. He's a very talented poet. He's got his own nice style. He's authentic. Brother Ting come he holler at me. Yeah, he don't. He don't holler at a lot of people, man. Okay. That's the thing. Like that was one of the people Shay touched for us, you know. Um, who, I had heard him. So Facebook. he's very dope too. Um, but yeah, I could mm-hmm. definitely link that. I could probably link y'all together for sure. I'm sorry, I'm going, but I'm but sorry. but brother Ting, um, yeah. yeah, he he's a phenomenal I old like school him. poet. Yeah. Um, and I had him on one of the the lit linguistics. We were we were honored to showcase him and be able to. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Period, and he he's came out to a few of them. I want to say maybe two because he came out when he wasn't being showcased and hit the open mic. Um, I think, yeah. Well, not the open mic, the cipher. You know, the the open cipher mic at the end. Yeah, yeah, and and super cool. You know, yeah, super cool. So I'm gonna go with that. Um, that's an that's an old school one. If I was to say. Uh, and then a comedian. Mm. I'm trying to think. It's that's difficult, but I would go with. Go. 
There's so many dope artists, man. This is just the point. Guess what? <laughs> I'm gonna say I'm gonna go with girl power. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna go I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with Precious J right now. Dope. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna go with her. Right now. There's a lot of dope artists though. Super dope. But yeah. when I think about who is gonna get some laughs out of me every time they get up on that stage? Yeah, she's she she can do it. Um, but there's a lot of people that can do it for sure, for sure. I know I'm probably got one in the back of my head right now that I'll be like, oh, but I'm. It's cool. It doesn't even matter because y'all are all dope. Like to even pick one person is. It's ludicrous. It's you ludicrous. Know, you, pick, you know what to be for? You want to know my answer? Yes. <laughs> yes, I do. I really do. Because you, you, you hear them too. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So, yeah. So, for the hip hop, for, for everybody out here, I would just say, I would say Shane Floyd. Okay. Yeah. That, that would there be my go. favorite. R&B was is kind of hard. I heard Liz, Liz Reed, she good, but for some reason, I'm just gonna be real, I fuck with Mookie Collison. Like, he dope. <laughs> like he, I don't know enough about him, so, yeah, yep. Yeah, and it, nah. You, I've heard the name, though. Yeah, yep. but he, I, I gotta give him his props, he dope. I gotta give it to him. But like you said, it's, it's other people on that level. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But he, I got to give him his props. He, he dope. And he be doing the city local shit that's popping, too. You know what I'm saying? He know what he doing. Uh, who else? Who we got in there? Poet? You already know that. Waylo. You you my favorite poet. <laughs> <laughs> so, I appreciate that. All day. I don't uh, know that you've ever went out to actually see some other poet other I than have, me. Well, have you? listen. That's what I didn't. So when you were telling the story about you didn't know nothing about the poetry lane or no, I was kicking it with poets. I got pictures where I didn't came like when I first came back and was taking pictures. I was just taking pictures and promoting shit. So I'm promoting Shay Brown and Poet Lightning house parties. I'm coming up here and acting wild. Hey, we in the house parties. I'm taking. I see a picture of truth, like I'm going back and them looking at the film, like that's true. I, I did not know these was poets. Damn. Until I met y'all. Right. <laughs> that's right. real talk. Right. So I didn't even, I'm hanging with poets and didn't even didn't know they were poets. That's crazy. You know what I'm saying? So with yeah. that being said, yeah, I done seen, I done, I done the reason why you all, you my favorite poet because when I first got into the scene, I was already I saw you. Right. So from all the people that I didn't heard from, it's some good ones. It's some. It, it's some definitely some great ones. It's some like um, truth. I fuck with him. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Sixteen bars immaculate. Yeah. Shay Brown. Yeah. Poet. Uh, Lightning. Uh, Woke brand. Yeah. You know, Cash Raw. Casmo, Kaiserific, I I heard all of that shit, right. but when it comes to who I feel the most, and like, you kill it every time. And your shit be straight uh, spiritual. So you always need that. I know I do. Yeah, <laughs> me too. That's probably why so, I write it. I appreciate that, because it's not often received. <laughs> That, hey, it ain't for everybody. It's not. It's for the right man. Yeah. Uh, it's tied, but it's fucked up because I don't remember the other dude's name, so that's kind of fucked up. Yeah. You know, and y'all know who I'm talking about. And he, it just ain't coming to my head right now. But it's tied. But um, if I had to pick one, I'm just going to, I fuck with Tenerio. I yeah. like his delivery. I know, you know what I'm saying? And I think I believe he's seasoned. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's and that's 
what I'm saying? When you can do your jokes like that to me, that can be the same joke. You can say whatever, criticize whatever, and you still make motherfuckers laugh. Facts. <laughs> That's a good comedian. When I've heard your joke and I know what's coming and I still laugh, that's yeah. a good joke. That's a great joke. Yeah. That's money making jokes. Facts. Facts. <laughs> so, yeah. so I fuss with you, Canario. Real yeah. talk. Yeah. Uh, I think that was it. Yeah. yeah. That's the mic. Yeah. For sure. Hey, we get down. Shout out to all y'all. Though. Shout out to everybody, yeah. though. I guess that was it. Because just being honest, I fuck with twenty five to life shit too. Facts. You know what I'm saying? And Rob mm-hmm. Soul. Rob Soul, S D yeah. Savage. I had me rocking on y'all shit. Yeah. It's no it's no it's when it comes to the music, it's no denying the talent. Right. Right. And that's where I'm gonna leave that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? Thank you, you damn I respect you. Yeah. I don't like disrespect though. You know what I'm saying, yeah, yeah. but you know that in that, that that as a community we all need to do better when it comes to that. You know what I'm saying? Ch- yeah. Choosing our words delicately and having grace and and ethics and you know what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. All that's important. So. All Facts. Right. Real talk, real rap. Yeah. All right, I think we getting close, man. Um, is there anything you want to address? No, other than like. Shit gonna happen. Pe- some people ain't gonna mesh, um, but you just you move on and you move past it. You know, um, I try not to. I try to stay out the way with a lot of shit. You know what I'm saying? It, if 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 telling your story uh, or your perspective of things of somebody makes somebody appear in a bad light. Um, that doesn't mean that they're talking shit on you or, you know what I'm saying? Um, everybody's entitled to their perspective. However, make sure it is a clear perspective. You know what I'm saying? And it's not no bullshit. Don't listen to what nobody else says. If you weren't there, you don't know, you know, uh, how other people treat other people. Um, you may not know the backstory of that, you know? Like, I came into the community blind. I didn't know a lot of backstory about a lot of shit that happened, you know. And I'm looking like, why y'all can't? <clears throat> and I get it. It's cool. We don't all have to fuck with each other. Um, but on a bigger level, you know, let's support wh- who the fuck supporting us. Yeah. You know, and, and, and let's not measure if we're... If they're giving us roses and you just throw the rose on the ground like, yeah, fuck you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, that's show your character. Right. You know, like, let's real be talk. for real. Like, yeah. That's real talk. Yeah. Man. We all deserve some roses out here. Let's like, not, when we're giving them, you know, when you get them, don't, don't throw them on the ground like you think they trash because, right. like, damn, okay. Like, okay, you ain't. Right. You act like I'm abusing you. <laughs> Am I abusing you? Like, you know, I let know me know. <laughs> let me know. Like, am I am I hurting you? Like, what am I doing? Please let me know so we can make this better. Right. Because that's what we're supposed to be doing is trying to figure a way how to make all of our fucking lives. Isn't it bad enough, yo? Like, yeah. you don't have to do no extra shit. Right. <laughs> I promise. It's all going to happen anyway. Period. Yeah. Damn. Life's going to do it for us, I promise. Like, you ain't got to add to it. It's rolling. <laughs> it's going to keep rolling. Facts. Rolling, rolling. All right, all right, all right. So we get into the, to the, to the last point of the interview, the game situations. I'll pick some good stuff for you, but we're going to see. Okay. Um, <laughs> situations. You know, it's three, three options. Okay. Well, it's three situations first, or you got three options. Okay. The situations are, you can't have it anymore, you can have it one more time, and you can have it forever. Okay. So we got your three options. Breathe fresh nature's air. (laughs) Dang. Uh, Grow your favorite plant. And 
kill individuals with natural weapons. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucked up. Um, okay, okay, okay. I think I got an answer. Hang on. Let me see if I remember them all. Okay, breathe fresh air. Um, cure people with natural remedies. Mm-hmm. Or, what was the other one? Roll your favorite plant. Okay. I'd be okay if I never grew my favorite plant. If one more time I could cure somebody with natural remedies. Because I just give them all my knowledge and they could pass it on. Mm-hmm. And then forever free fresh fresh air, <laughs> breathe fresh air in nature. Yeah. Jesus Christ. <laughs> all right, we're going to have the truth. Man, as usual, we always have good conversations. Yeah, indeed. All day. Yeah, thank Just you for having me again, King. All day. Hey. We be meeting, we be having conversations beyond conversations. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All day, every day. Um, let them know where they can find you at and let them know what you got coming up next. Okay. Um, to book me as a poet, you can find me at Ray, R A E, Lay, L A Y, Down the Truth, regular spelling the poet um on facebook and that's to book me as a poet um if it has anything to do with any shows or anything that i have forthcoming or with the channel you can find me on facebook at rachel r-a-c-h-a-e-l and a-n-n last name l-a-y so rachel ann lay on facebook um and that's where a lot of the promotion and stuff happens is on that page, uh, on my personal page. And then we have the Lit Linguistics uh, Rewrite Poetry Organization collab, uh, March 18th from at Harris Stowe University from 5.30 to 8. Um, it's $5 donation at the door for anybody that's not a Harris Stowe student. Um, so Harris Stowe students are free. It's open to the community, all ages. There's an open mic dedicated to um, Women's History Month and uh, Women's Appreciation Month. So hopefully uh, the mic is full of pieces like that, you know, honoring our women and talking about the history of the women and the truth and the love and, you know, all that good stuff on the mic. Um, and yeah do it for the the community the college kids and for the network so the whole the whole world can see and then tomorrow 314 day um yep shout out soldier by blood and lp and there it is uh we're collabing with them to do the 314 showcase over there at bb's bar and grill mm-hmm. and then let's see um we showcase lightning um sh- poet lightning show hustle and flow the experience um the last monday of every month mm. we showcase there it is thursday every other thursday of the month on the channel um as well as pin up or shut up during his seasons because he does his in seasons so um yeah so that's what we have coming up um for sure set in stone um Shout out to Tiffany Lene, a.k.a. Taylor Tales, for her mic she started for the STL to the ATL. Um, yeah, to have some collaborations happen. Yeah. So hopefully we can make that happen. Um, but yeah, that's, yeah. <laughs> the future is looking bright. Um, I got a, I got a showcase for... Uh, some things must be heard in May. That's oh, that's going to be dope. Yeah. Yeah. So. And I'm sure we'll be doing something with our sponsor for 420. So, yeah, just tap in and, and link up and, yeah. All day. Make some shit happen. I, ain't make, I don't do nothing on 420. I, I know I do have to go to a wedding. Shout out to Queen Kip and T.I. Oh, yeah. Damn. Um, yeah. Um, so, but. 
I, I'm hoping that's early. So you I, I'm gonna be able to pick <laughs> it after. <that. laughs> you did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I um before we go, you know I'm happy to ask you. Whose mic is this? Ray lay down the truth, Mike. Yeah. Hey, I appreciate you coming through. Yeah, thank T- you. All day. Till next time. When I step up in the place, that's guaranteed money. A lot of smiles and grins, but I don't see nothing funny. Had to cut them clouds short. No, I don't play dummy. Setting up the table, cause I know the meal is coming. I don't Why you rolling joints? Never legal with the promo. The people choice. Shepard yeah. Bowling Green and Cottersville. I'm stamped. Ready to count. Why you hating on me? Cause it's slated for me. Get to get up off your ass. You might get in my G. Stop supporting them lanes. Put most high in the game. Stop that cap and type shit and stop passing the blame. I can't fuck with no haters. I done did that way back. Heart open, no jack. But homie became straight rag. I move accordingly.